Yeah, at the St. Gallen uh, meeting this year, I discussed uh, where we are in terms of progress with respect to preventing brain metastases, both in the early stage and metastatic settings. Unfortunately, in the early stage setting, we really haven't made much progress. And what I showed was that um, in the clinical trials, testing adjuvant trastuzumab, pertuzumab, lapatinib, and now TDM1, we really have seen no evidence of prevention of CNS relapse with no difference in the rates between the control arm and the experimental arms. There was a suggestion of a difference within the neratinib extinet trial, but this was in a subset analysis. And we're still waiting for results uh, in terms of the planned to catnip trials in the adjuvant setting, which are just underway. In patients who have metastatic HER2 positive breast cancer, we are seeing some glimmers of hope that we may be able to prevent CNS metastases. Uh, these data come from both the NALA trial, which compared neratinib capecitabine versus lapatinib capecitabine that showed uh, a prolongation to time to CNS intervention and a reduction in the incidence of CNS metastases. And then more recently in the HER2-CLIMB trial, which showed um, a pr prolongation of time to CNS progression or death, and actually also a prolongation to time to new brain metastases uh, in, the, in this trial. In terms of how we improve outcomes for patients with brain metastases, I think first and foremost, we need to include patients with brain metastases into our clinical trials at all phases of testing, because this is really the only way that we can make progress and understand what works and doesn't work in patients with brain metastases, as well as uh, the prevention setting. Uh, the other um, important advance would be really developing drugs specifically to target the CNS. And whether this is developing drugs that penetrate the blood-brain barrier better or understanding um, better the uh, mechanism by which uh, breast cancer travels to the brain or is able to survive in the brain and targeting those pathways uh, specifically, I think that um, trying to stumble upon CNS active drugs without a deliberate process will be much slower than trying to do this um, in a thoughtful and purposeful way.